Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Reyna and I've recently upgraded my phone from the Samsung Galaxy A10e to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I've gotten a few requests to do a what's on my iPhone video as well as what my home screen layout looks like. So if you're someone who asked, this video is for you. I hope you enjoy. So when you turn on my phone, the first thing that you see is my lock screen, which is just a picture that I found off of Pinterest. And when you unlock my phone, you are brought to the first page of my phone. So on my first page, I have a lot of apps and a lot of folders. And the reason for it is because I don't want to have to go searching for the app that I need to use. I'd rather just see it and use it. So on this first part of my phone, I have a stack of widgets. And in this stack, I have color widgets, Notion, screen time, which is not accurate. I fell asleep to a playlist and Google. Moving on to this quarter of my home screen, I have Spotify, which I consider my most used app. I use Spotify for just about everything. I have a playlist for studying, a playlist that I use to read to, and a go-to playlist, which just includes a whole bunch of songs that I listen to on shuffle. Next, we have the social folder, and I don't really use social media all that often. The two that I mainly use would be Instagram and Pinterest, but on my Instagram, this is my page. I don't post a lot of pictures. I tend to post pictures when I upload a video, so if I upload a video, I probably have pictures or some story or something that you can go look at. TikTok and Pinterest. This is my page. I have a lot of pin boards, some called nail inspo, aesthetic food, wallpaper, one for encouragement, anime, luscious locks, wall prints, and I have created a few pins myself. But yeah, if you're interested, go check it out. Next is Telegram, Snapchat, VLive. VLive is where I go to watch Run BTS and Tomorrow by Together to do and WhatsApp. In my school folder, I have my Notion, which is where I go to just organize my life. I have multiple pages inside this main page called Ray of Sunshine. I have GroupMe, Outlook, Voice Memos, Flip Clock, Google Calendar, Docs, Papago, and Drive. And then on the second side, I have Files, Z Library, Discord, which is what I use to video call friends for a study session, and Flora. In my shopping folder, I have Etsy, Macari, Shein, Vinted, Depop, Brandy Melville, Poshmark, and Amazon. Truth be told, I don't really shop on my phone. I don't shop at all on my phone. Um, I should delete a few of these apps, but the most that I use would be Etsy, Shein, and Amazon. And over here, I just have a Spotify widget, which if you click it, it takes you to the last song or last playlist that you played. And in this last section, I have a Pinterest widget, which when you click it, takes you to the quote. And this one says, just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible, you can do it. And I have it so that it changes every hour. So every hour I get a different quote. Next is the board folder and in my board folder I have YouTube, Netflix, Webtoon, Animix Play to watch anime, HBO Max, and Vicky. In my banking folder I just have a whole bunch of banking apps. Bank of America, Discover, Wallet, PayPal, Truebill which is a budgeting app. My friend introduced me to it and I have used it ever since. Thank you so much. Cash app, and in my mindfulness folder, I have the Bible, Starbucks, because I need to be mindful of how much I spend, and health. And in this last folder on this first page, I have creativity, which of course, YouTube Studio, iMovie, Canva, which is what I use to edit my thumbnails and create thumbnails. And I create a myriad of thumbnails so that I have multiple ones to choose from. Visco and CapCut. Visco is what I plan to use to properly add um, some filters to my photos to make it look better. And CapCut is what I plan to use for Instagram Reels in the near future. And on this dock right here, I have the phone 
text messages, Google Chrome, I don't use Safari, and camera. Moving on to the second page, I have a, another stack of widgets, and this one is the Flip Clock, which is the Flip Clock app, but they made it into a widget, and I have Google Calendar. So I have my mail that I don't use. I'll clean it out, but I don't check my mail on there. I check my personal mail on Gmail. I have settings, township, which is the only game that I play, app store, photos, notes, and then I have a book folder. This just houses all of the apps that I use to read books. So I have Tapas, Webtoon, and Chrome. Chrome is where I find the PDF version of mangas, so I don't really need to buy mangas, I just find them online. And I have the utilities folder, which I do use this. I have the measure, the calculator, the clock. I use the clock app mainly for studying when I'm putting a timer on. I don't really use Flora, but I have Flora. This is the T-Mobile Tuesdays app, which is where they just give like rewards for being a customer. Clubhouse and Grammarly. So this widget is linked to my anime Pinterest board. And this one updates daily. The other one updates hourly, but this one updates daily. So if you follow me and you want um, something similar with the encouragement pins as well as the anime pins, you can follow me on Pinterest and then you just link it when you edit it you just link the user instead of yourself you just link it to whoever and then you put their board and on the last page I have the weather app and this is my biggest widget yet the reason is because I want as much information as I can get I don't really use this app I'd rather just look at the widget understand what the weather is in my area and be on my way so that's all for what's on my iPhone. So before I end this video, I just want to show you my focuses. So the three main focuses that I use would be the Do Not Disturb, Sleep, and YouTube. Do Not Disturb I have on for like 95% of the time. Sleep comes on automatically based off of the bedtime that I gave myself. And YouTube is what I put on manually whenever I am filming or editing a video. And in my YouTube focus, no one is allowed to talk to me and none of my apps give me any notifications. I really don't like being bothered when I'm filming because I have to start over and I don't like to start over. I get stressed. So I just like doing a one cut thing and keeping it moving. So yeah, no one is allowed to talk to me and none of my apps give me any notifications. And I have gotten a question on what case I use and this is just a case to fly case. You can tell it is worn out kind of um but yeah it's just a case to five case it has my name on it um it's in sheer black you can kind of see my hand in the back but yeah it's a sheer black you can kind of see my hand in the back but um and i just have a dollar bill that my brothers had put in my old case and I just transferred it from that case to this case so I just leave it right here and I just let my phone on it but that concludes my what's on my iPhone video I hope you all enjoyed I hope I gave you all some inspiration and some ideas on how to customize your iPhone let me know what your favorite app is in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.